What is up guys, we are back for another live today in the RU tier. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be avoiding OU, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but today I built a team here uh, with some pretty interesting uh, mons on here. We have uh, Bulk Up, um, Braviary. This team has no hazard removal, which is a little bit scary in RU right now, uh, but I'm hoping to be able to deal with it. Actually, this team deals with it pretty well because we have Magic Guard, we have a Flyer over here, uh, we have Synthesis, uh, and we have Leftovers Recovery with... Um, with uh, Seismitoad, so I mean, it, it deals pretty well. Uh, all of these mons are really threatening, especially Entei and Braviary, even Reuniclus, like these three together are really scary for any team to deal with, uh, because bra basically the only thing that Braviary doesn't really want to deal with is uh, rock types. This thing has Focus Blast, this thing burns rock types, uh, and this thing just shuts down rock types, so if you can see my cursor and where it is. So let's get a game, uh, get uh, right into it here, and uh, why is this on screen? Goodbye. All right, so we got a <laughs> pretty interesting team, to say the least. We have a Luminion, which I haven't seen in forever. Uh, and I don't have any kind of initiative on this team, which is like the one big problem. But uh, I should be able to deal with it. Uh, let's see. So Spit Up Braviary should be able to take a hit from Chandelure. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bait the Chandelure into going for a Grass-type move with Seismitoad, as he actually chooses to lead off with Lipard, which means this thing might be Taunt. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go straight for the Scald right here, as he goes for Sub, okay, uh, that's fine with me. We are going to break the Sub with a Crit Scald, not sure if that mattered or not, uh, I mean it's still a Scald from a Seismitoad, so. Uh, I'm now going to go for Stealth Rocks as he goes for Nasty Plot, which is a little bit scary, uh, but if he Sub Nasty Plot, then I'm going to go for EQ. Uh, he goes for Deep Pulse, it's going to do a lot, let's see if he gets the Flinch, he does not, and he's going to die to an Earthquake, so there goes that. Um, I need to keep my Reuniclus very, very healthy for the Halucha, because that thing is a threat. Uh, as he brings in Luminion. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going into Gorgeist. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this thing does, so... Uh, it is Leftovers, that is confirmed. He's going to go for a U-turn, that's not a huge deal. He's probably going to go out into Chandelure and fire off a Shadow Ball, because it hits neutrally across my team. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Halucha, though. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm going hard into Reuniclus, not even thinking about it, uh, as he goes for a Sky Attack, which is going to do some damage, it's going to do 42%, uh, but I do have the Recover, and uh, he's not going to be doing as much to me anymore. Acro is going to be doing about the same amount of damage, so I'm just going to go for Psy Shock, because he chooses to go for a Swords Dance and let his Halucha die, so that's fantastic. Uh, no more threat there. And um, now he's going to bring in his Luminion again, which is interesting. He's probably going to go for a U-Turn again. Um... I'm going to go into Klefki here, because I want to start wearing down his team with spikes. He's actually going to go for a Defog, okay? Okay, so that's what this thing does, right, 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 okay. Um, he doesn't have a Dark type anymore, so I'm free to Thunder Wave. As we do get that off, that's awesome, and he's going to get fully paired on this turn. Uh, I'm going to start setting up some spikes. My Stealth Rocker is still alive, and it's also faster than this Luminion now. As he gets fully paired on that turn, that's a little unfortunate for him. Um, I'm just going to set up another layer, as he chooses to go out into Komala. Does he also have Rapid Spin? <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, I think I'm pretty safe to go into Gorgeist here. I don't think this thing gets anything for Gorgeist, so we're going to go directly into it. We do scout leftovers. He goes for Wish. Uh, not a huge deal. I am going to go for the Leech Seed here. If he wants to pass this out into Chandelure, it will be seeded, so even if he gets his Wish back, he's still going to lose a little bit of health. And now I'm going to go directly into Braviary. Even if he Fire Blasts, I should be able to take it. Uh, and then we'll scout that he's going for Fire Blast. So he goes for Shadow Ball. That's awesome. Braviary is in. And uh, this pretty much spells doom for my opponent as I will go for a sub here. He chooses to bring in his Luminion, which of course is paralyzed. And uh, I can start going for bulk ups. We are Spadef, of course, so his attack shouldn't be able to break my sub in theory. We'll see though. We do go for the first bulk up. He's going to go for a Scald. He does not break our sub, which is awesome. We can keep going for bulk ups here. And this is pretty, pretty much game over at this point. Uh, he has to have two mons to outspeed me, which would have to be his Chandelure. Uh, and his uh, Sawsbuck, and uh, if either one of those don't outspeed me for whatever reason, then this game is pretty much over. Just gonna go for another bulk up. Uh, basically, I just want to have enough. Yeah, okay, he's gonna forfeit. I just wanted to have enough attack to be able to uh, knock out this Luminion in one hit. I would have eventually calced it, but anyway, we are gonna get that win, and let's jump into the next game. I'm actually just gonna pause it until we get it, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got one, and this is a much scarier team. Um, he has like four switch-ins to my Entei, uh, being Flygon somewhat. 
um, Suicune, Arcanine, and Como. So this is kind of scary. Uh, Reuniclus can definitely win, but there's the Celebi in the way, which I'm going to have to get rid of at some point. Uh, Braviary can probably take a hit and set up on it. So that would probably be my... Yeah, Braviary is going to be my win con again. I have a feeling I know what's on the thumbnail. Um, <laughs> let's lead off here with uh, Klefki. Uh, as he leads off with Flygon, this is fine. Uh, I am just going to go for a Spike, uh, disregarding the fact that he can Earthquake me. We're going to go for a Spike right away. Uh, he also probably has Defog on this. Uh, he's going to go for Quake straight away. That's fine with me. I am going to go for the Magnet Rise here. Let's see what he does. Uh, if he goes out into his Arcanine, that is fine. If he stays in, that's also fine. Awesome. So he goes for another Quake. We are just going to go for a, another Spike here as he goes for a Defog. So, I mean, we're not getting anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to keep Spiking. Uh, he's going to go for a U-turn, so he has to Defog again. So that reveals that his Flygon is not choiced. Uh, and it also reveals to me that his, um, well, I could t tell by the damage from Earthquake that he wasn't choiced, first of all. Uh, secondly, it also tells me that he has Defog on that, so. We are, we are gonna go into Seismitoad on his Blitz, and, uh, he's not gonna get a burn, luckily, and we are gonna go straight for the Stealth Rocks right here as he goes for a Toxic. I considered going for a knockoff, which I'm gonna do on this turn, actually, uh, because if I can get rid of Flygon's item, that's awesome. And another thing is that Flygon... Uh, has a little bit of trouble defogging when there's a defiant Pokemon on the other side So we get a plus two and uh, now he has to deal with a big brave bird coming his way uh, He might not even have um, Outrage it's possible, but uh, I am just gonna go for the brave bird here as he goes for a u-turn So something is dead uh, Suicune is the only thing that can take this attack everything else on his team is pretty much gone uh, as he does go into Suicune uh, but this is pretty much just setup fodder for me. Okay, that did not take that well at all. <laughs> I expected him to take a lot less from that attack. Uh, now, the question is, do I just set up on this? Uh, do I take its, its attacks? Let's see. Braviary. Braviary. Uh, sub bulk up the standard set. Let's move this over so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, against Suicune. I just want to see how much its unboosted Scald does to me. Um, Crocoon. Scald does 18 to 22 with our investment. So I am going to go for the sub right here, as he's actually faster than me, uh, and goes for an Ice Beam. So that's unexpected that he's faster than me, uh, because Suicune doesn't typically run this much speed. I am going to go for the Roost right here, as he goes for another Ice Beam. And I really do not want to risk uh, him freezing me at all, so I'm just going to attack on this turn. Just go for a Brave Bird, not even thinking about it. Uh, and he's quite fast, like really, really fast. Uh, we are going to knock out this Suicune, which is a huge problem to me. He's going to bring in Glissapod. Uh, unless he has Jet, he's not knocking me out, so I'm actually going to go out into Seismitoad here as he chooses to go for an Aqua Jet. Awesome. So we are going to call that turn right. And uh, I'm going for Stealth Rocks on this turn, and he's, he goes for a Leech Life. That is going to do quite a bit of damage, and it, he does reveal to be Life Orb uh, as a result. Um, and I don't really want to knock that off, actually. So I'm going to go hard into my Klefki here. As he's going to go for another Leech Life, that's not going to give him back much health. In fact, he's going to lose health on that turn. And I'm going to go for a Flash Cannon here, predicting the Flygon to want to come in. Uh, as Celebi actually comes in. Okay, interesting. Uh, and that's going to take a decent amount. And we can just keep going for Spikes now. I mean, like, he has to bring in his Flygon at some point. Uh, so he just killed off my Braviary, essentially, um, by doing that, by going for Rocks. But he still has to Defog. <laughs> he, this is the issue that he's faced with. So I'm going to now switch out uh, into Reuniclus, I think, is probably my best play. Reuni does not speed his Glissapod, though. That's the only problem. Um, I'm going to go for another layer spike, actually, as he's going to bring in his Arcanine. Okay, so that's going to take a heavy hit from the uh, hazards, and uh, we are going to get up another spike. And on this thing, since it seems to be defensive, uh, I'm going to go hard into Reuniclus, and we should be able to take a Blitz, no problem. He's going to go for Morning Sun, that's fantastic, as I'm going to start getting up some Calm Mines. As he's going to go for Blitz, that's going to do absolutely nothing, and uh, with these Calm Mines, this is going to start pressuring his team quite a bit. I'm going to go for a Psy Shock here on his Flygon switch, which is fantastic, as that's going to take 39%, and now we are going to go for a uh, another Psy Shock. As he goes for a U-turn, whatever comes in is taking a decent hit. Uh, except for Celebi, but that still takes hazards on switch, so that's fine, too. Uh, if he brings in Galissapod, then awesome. 
Uh, we get to emergency exit it out, but that's not going to be the case. He is going to bring in Celebi. Uh, but Celebi technically doesn't beat me 1v1 unless it's um, Nasty Plot. So I am just going to go for another Calm Mind as he's going to switch right back out into Flygon. I really don't care about this. I'm just going to go for Recover. Uh, he's just basically just giving me health back as he does get rid of the hazards. Uh, except now, again, something still takes a Psy Shock. So uh, if it's going to be Celebi, then so be it. Uh, it is going to be Celebi. He probably has Recover on this thing. That is doing 27%, guys. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind as he goes for Rocks once again. Uh, so he was ready to lose his Celebi as a result. Uh, I'm going to go for Psy Shock now as he brings in his Flygon and sacks it off. Galissapod does come in. Uh, just like before, I am going to go into Klefki here. I'm not risking my Runiclus. It wins me the game at this point. He's going to go for a first impression. That wouldn't have killed, I don't think, because we are physically defensive. So, um, I mean, it's stronger than Leech Life one way or another, but, you know. Uh, he no longer has his Flygon to get rid of hazards, so I'm going to keep sp uh, spike stacking him. Absolutely. He goes for the liquidation. It's not going to knock me out, uh, but I am in jet range, so I'm going to go into Seismitoad here because I'm not in rocks range. <laughs> So I'm getting right out of here. Uh, if he makes the play and goes for Leech Life, then great on him. Honestly, that's a, that's just a genuinely good play. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, now, the problem with Galissapod right here is... Um, yeah, he does go for the Leech Life. So that is going to kill me off, essentially. Um, but he can't go for priority against me, so I can get up rocks, right, if I'm faster? Which I think I am. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So he's going to go for another Leech Life. Not a problem. He's still Life Orbed. Uh, the problem I'm faced with here is that this Galissapod is actually a huge problem for me now because um well i guess i can phase it out right yeah let's go to nt and let's just go for an e-speed and get it out of here because it's going to get sent into emergency exit from e-speed so he's actually going to switch out into a celebi and keep his galissapod which is a good play um he's going to go into como i don't know what kind of como this is i'm going to go directly into klefki since i still live one more stealth rock switch in before leftovers um as he goes for Dragon Claw, that's awesome. That tells me that he's probably a Dragon Dance set, uh, which means I am just going for Thunder Wave here. He's probably Lum. No, he's not. He goes for Sky Uppercut. Okay, so um, now what happens is that Braviary is actually faster, <laughs> and I can probably just uh, Roost Stall him. So let's do that. Let's go into Braviary. Let's live the rocks. Let's go for Roost. Let's go for Roost. Uh, if he's smart, he goes for Sky Uppercut here. Let's see what he does. Uh, he gets fully parried. That's unfortunate. Wow, that sucks. Um, I'm going to go for a... I'm just going to go for Brave Bird, honestly, and knock this thing out. There we go. And it is gone. And we take a little bit of damage, not too much. And we still have uh, enough to... He's actually going to go into Galissapod, interesting enough. And he's going to get emergency exited out by the hazards. So <laughs> I didn't even know that that's how it worked. That might be a bug because I don't think it's supposed to do that. But anyway... Uh, he gave us the Defiant boost, too, with his Arcanine, so that's awesome. He had two ways to give us the uh, defi Defiant boost. So let's move on to the next game. Uh, his team's working out pretty well, honestly. I think I'm pretty high up on the ladder, uh, actually. Let me check. Where am I? Um, should be... I'm not seeing myself just yet. There I am, 82nd. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, a couple more points, and we'll move up into top 50. Uh, 13, 15, yeah, two more wins, and I think we should be there. Depends on what kind of opponents I'm playing. But uh, still, very solid. Uh, honestly, I really like the team. The only problem it has is speed. Like, it's really lacking a lot of speed. But typically in RU, you don't have a lot of speed to begin with. Now, this team is a threat. <laughs> uh, except he doesn't have a switch into Sacred Fire at all. So, I'm going to lead off here with... Um, do I lead off with Entei? You know what? I think I'm going to lead off with Entei, guys. Uh, so he's going to lead off with his Heliolisk. Now, I'm expecting this thing to be choice, which is why I'm going to go directly into my Seismitoad so that I can get up my rocks as he tries to go for a Volt Switch, which is fantastic. And we are going to go for Stealth Rock straight away. And he's going to go into Togekiss. This is fine with me. Uh, I'm going to go hard into Klefki. I'm not staying in as he goes for a Defog. Okay, so he risked my Braviary coming in there. That's good to know for later. Uh, so we are just going to go for uh, spikes right here as he is going to go for a thunder wave So he's the thunder wave set meaning that he's not the stall breaker set, which is good to know Typically the fog doesn't run the stall breaker set anyway, so that was to be expected um, And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a flash cannon his he goes for another defog He doesn't care that I have a braviary in the back uh, That can come in on this, but I'm going to go for another spike here uh, The only thing that really threatens me out is kind of metagross sort of uh, Everything else I can just T wave uh, maybe heliolisk as well but I'm not going to switch out on that because I'm going to predict the Grass Knot. Or I'm going to go into Gorgias. Gorgias works too. As uh, he is going to go straight into Heliolisk as I get up another spike. 
And now I'm going to go into Gorgeist. As uh, he is going to go, he is specs, so that's good to know. He's going to go for a Grass Knot, predicting me to go into Seismic Toad. That's why I made that play. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we are going to double, uh, I think, into Braviary. Yeah, let's do that. Let's double into Braviary, knowing that he's locked into uh, Grass Knot. As he is going to go into his Togekiss, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go for a Substitute right here. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Thunder Wave. Yep, so I guess he doesn't know the set. Let's go for Bulk Up. And uh, let's see if his Air Slash breaks our sub. Uh, as it does with a crit, but I don't think it would otherwise. Let's go for another substitute here. As he's going to go for a Defog. And it doesn't give me the Defiant boost because I'm behind a sub, unfortunately. Uh, but I can just keep going for Bulk Up. And I'm going to test to see if this breaks my sub or not. As uh, it does not. Awesome. Okay, so we can keep going for Bulk Ups here. And uh, he can never break my sub. So we're pretty much good to go. He actually misses Air Slash. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm just going to keep going for Bulk Up because at this point I pretty much win. Uh, as he's going to Air Slash me, that's fine. Uh, we are going to get it behind another sub. As he's, uh, I'm assuming, just going to keep going for Air Slash. He does miss again. Wow, that really sucks. Uh, I'm going to go for another Bulk Up. I can stall this thing out of Air Slashes, essentially. So he has to switch at some point. Uh, and now we are at Max Max. I'm pretty sure I can already knock this thing out. Uh, but I kind of want to be at full. So what I'm going to do is Bulk Up again. And uh, now we are at max. He's going to go for another air slash. That's fine. I'm going to go for another sub. As he's just staying in, he has... Okay, I guess it's a roll to break my sub then. Um, but either way, I could just roost here and not waste subs. And just knock this thing out after. But I do want to be behind a sub. So let's try to go for another one. Uh, it's a very, very tight roll to knock out my sub, apparently. I'm going to go for a roost here to see uh, just how much damage this is actually doing. It's doing 24, you see? Okay, so it's it's a very, very close roll. Um, let's go for another sub. He's going to run out of air slashes eventually. Uh, as he does break my sub on that one, I'm going to go for another sub. As he goes for an air slash, does not break my sub that time, I'm going to go for a roost. Basically, I just can't go for a roost while I'm not behind a sub. I know I, I, know I did it before, uh, but it's very, very dangerous because he could thunder wave me. So he's not going to break my sub that time. And here's where I go for Brave Bird and knock out his Togekiss. And I take a ton of recoil, but um, he has to sack two mons to this, essentially. Uh, in comes Lucario, which I'm going to roost on um, as he goes for Vacuum Wave, because he's special, apparently. And uh, I'm just going to go for the... Do I go for the sub here? How much would a Life Orb Vacuum Wave Lucario do to me? <laughs> I'm curious. Lucario... Uh, it broke my sub because it already had damage, but how much is it actually doing to me? Nasty Plot, uh, Vacuum Wave, uh, it doesn't break my sub. And his Focus Blast, his Focus Blast does a lot, but does this thing run a lot of speed? It does run max speed, okay. Um, I think I just go for a Brave Bird here. He goes for a Flash Cannon, yeah, I'm gonna knock out his Lucario as a result. So that's another threat gone. Uh, I don't have to deal with Togekiss or Lucario anymore, so... That's awesome. In comes Heliolisk to revenge me, but I'm not going to let it. I'm going to go into Seismitoad, uh, as he does go for the Volt Switch, so awesome. And uh, we will get up our rocks once and for all. They are here to stay. And uh, I'm going to go into Klefki on this and start spike stacking him. As he does go for the first impression, that's not going to do much at all. That tells me that he's probably not banded. Uh, actually, he could be. Uh, he's going to forfeit. All right, so we do grab, grab that win. Uh, we are at uh, 1298. Where does that put us on the ladder, roughly? About at 65th. I haven't checked the uh, the update yet, but anyway. We're going to get a fourth game. Uh, hopefully, we can pull out four wins in one episode. I don't want to go uh, f with the last one on a loss, you know. Uh, we are at 19 minutes, so this should be about a 25-minute live. Hopefully, that we don't get stall or anything like that. That would be really cool. But I am going to pause it, guys, one more time, and we will be right back. Alright guys, and we got one, and uh, once again, it just looks like, oh god, <laughs> this is this is crazy. Um, I don't want to sweep again with this thing, but it's just so good in this tier, man. Uh, okay, so, basically the way I see it is that his only physical attacker that can take down Braviary is Kabutops, even if I'm at like plus four, it can still like completely destroy me. Uh, his only special attacker that could take me out would be Xblad. Slurpuff is definitely something to watch out for, but as long as I have a Klefki, I should be fine because I can reduce it back to its original speed and then just blitz it. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead off... Um, I think Seismitoad is fine, as he leads off with Sazbuck. Okay, so that's kind of what I was fearing, uh, but at the same time, I could just go into Gorgeist on this. It's not a problem, and I can just foul play whatever comes in. Uh, if he goes into 
his Slurpuff. Uh, I will foul play again on his potential Belly Drum. Uh, we do scout for an Assault Vest, so that's good to know. He goes for Bounce. Okay. Well then, uh, I'm going into Klefki <laughs> on your Bounce. As uh, that's going to do absolutely nothing. And he gets a Para. Okay, great. So let's start getting up some spikes. You could have Jump Kick. That's fine. It's not going to do too much. It's maybe going to do like 25. Uh, so I'm going to start getting up some spikes. It's really going to help with his, uh, his Slurpuff uh, later on in the game. Uh, that para kind of sucks, because it means that on some turn turns I'm not going to move. But uh, we should be okay. So let's see what, is, what my opponent wants to do. He is going to go out into his Slurpuff, so kind of scary. At the same time, I can just Flash Cannon here and j then just T-Wave on the following turn. Uh, I don't even think a plus 6 Drain Punch t takes me out, because this thing is pretty weak. He goes for a Cotton Guard. Uh, I'm going to Flash Cannon him down. And I'm going to go for another Flash Cannon, because there's nothing he can really do. And he forfeits once again, so we're at 13.07. Do I really want to leave you guys off on that? Ah, uh, that, that kind of feels stolen, you know? Uh, 13.07. You know what? Because I'm so high up on, on, like, well, not so high up, but pretty high up on most of the ladders that I'm playing right now, uh, I'm going to leave this live here. Uh, I'm going to end it off there because it was pretty good. We got four wins. I'm not going to risk losing uh, on the last game. Uh, and yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it there. We'll try to get some more teams uh, for next week. Uh, tomorrow, what we should have is either a random battle or uh, a sub battle, actually. I might be able to do one of those. Hopefully, I'll be able to get in contact with somebody that's been uh, asking me to do a sub battle for a for quite a long time, actually. So uh, let's hope that happens. Uh, I'll see if I can make that happen. But anyway, guys, uh, if you did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Of course, it always helps out the channel. Uh, if you want to use the team alongside me, I will leave a link to the paste bin in the description down below. And uh, make sure to hit this, that subscribe button if this is your first time here or if you're uh, returning and you enjoy the content and you want more of it. Make sure to hit that button and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.